We played some of this deck, I think on Monday, and this is Just Guy Lotus Field, one of my favorite brews of all time that uh, is kind of back from the dead, I guess. It's kind of a good example of how, you know, people ask, is extra wide brew gone forever? Is extra wide brew dead? And, and, and the answer, I think, is never always, never truly no. Like, these kind of things come back around, where, like, Solitude, Chalice, Ending... Uh, Memory Deluge too. I've all been like really strong upgrades for this archetype. I did change a couple cards. I did. I ended up adding more white sources. I kind of realized that we needed a couple more white sources for ending in the early game. I decided to go with the Kahira. Uh, I, I think I, when I was playing less solitudes first, but playing four solitudes, I actually think it just you have to play the Kahira to get that white card to pitch. Even though I do intend to to board in Ragavan whenever I board out Chalice. So the gear is a little bit worse in this deck because you don't always have it, but I think it's still worth playing. Uh, but besides that, I think it's pretty much the same from maybe my small. Yeah, we, I think I think that I need the four cryptics. I think I'm too light on interactive spells if I don't play the full four. Um, but I I, we, I know we did talk about making that change on Monday. But we were like seven and three with this deck on Monday. I don't think it's you know busted or like the best control deck, but I do think it's you know playable and really fun and. Uh, Definitely my favorite deck I've ever ever put together. What deck would I play right now in a modern competitive event if I had to choose one? Probably the Jeskai, the Jeskai Murktide deck. I might also like, you know, wild card Reclamation. I, I like that Reclamation deck a lot. What cryptic over Archmage's Charm? So, uh, three mana spells in this deck are, you know, Blood Sun, Valkyrie Awakening, uh, so, like, uh, so, um, you, like, Lotus Field is, like, always untapped on turn four, even without Blood Sun, if, assuming you have Lotus Field, but it's, like, it's, if without Blood Sun, it's, it's never untapped on turn three in this deck. Um, I guess if you wildfire your flagstones, then play Blood Sun, Lotus Field, and have, have the nut draw. Alright, let's keep this, let me put back a Cryptic, I think. And so the idea, and so Cryptic is, like, surprisingly a, a lot easier to cast in this deck, compared to... Compared to uh, Archimedes Charm, which is maybe a little unintuitive, but it is true. Um, my opponent's gone Wooded Foothill, Stomping Ground, Noble Hierarch. I think I'll Solitude the uh, the Hierarch here. Doesn't feel great. Twenty K in Fort Worth again. Uh, I might look at okay, that's that's great for us. We don't have any one drops. In fact, they have one drops. That we saw uh, <laughs> we saw Hierarch. I'll look into it. Um, I'm going to Vegas. I don't know if I'm going to go to like any more paper tournaments beyond that, but I'll I'll think about it. I'll look into it. Um, hmm. You know what? My opponent's missing their land drops. If we blood sun, our flagstones is turned off. So I think I'm just going to actually ramp here. Rather than play the Blood Sun and turn off the Flagstone so I can't wildfire it after that. Interesting. Well. Okay, I probably just want to Solitude this turn. This is what a weird game. I feel like every day this week, I've said that. I feel like every single day, the first match of the stream, I've said, wow, what a weird game. I'm gonna play some more Jeskai Phoenix eventually. Of course, I'm gonna play some more Phoenix eventually. And I, I actually mentioned this this morning, and I was like, just th things always ebb and flow. And just because I put a deck down for a little bit doesn't mean I'm not gonna play it again. I talked about the Phoenix deck specifically at length yesterday, and I was talking about how it was really good for that first weekend. The meta game was like a lot of Ragavan, Hammer Time, uh, control decks, and there wasn't a lot of graveyard hate, which was just the perfect formula for Phoenix to be good. Now there's a lot of graveyard hate. There's also more like there's the the format's more open and less targetable too. So I, I still even think that deck is the Phoenix deck is playable, but I don't think it's a great choice uh, at the moment. But I, I do think that that's likely to change soon as things evolve. And so I'm just kind of waiting for the meta game to settle before I um, figure out how I'd, I'd like to change things. Okay, so I don't want these chalices. They're playing chalice. I don't know what's going on. They played Hierarch, 
Strangelgeist Chalice. So I imagine that they are red green Eldrazi. Um, but they played Noble Hierarch, not Ignoble. But red green Eldrazi. Well, how could they be playing so many chalices if they've got a bunch of one drops? Maybe they have caverns. Slap the three months. Bunch of like in the stream. I feel like my opponent has Blood Moon in their deck, so I think I'm going to bring in the Wear Tears. And then I can bring in the fourth Wildfire or a Force. We'll be able to play one Force. Yeah, exactly. People, like, just, like, people corrected really hard because of, like, not only the Phoenix deck, but also Reanimator Living End. And, you know, Phoenix is, is a deck that if people are really ready for it, they can hate it out. And that's a good thing. You don't want a deck to be unhateable. Okay, we have got an ending for this. Have another ending too. We do really need to draw a white source, or sorry, red source before turn three. So I might cycle Typhoon next turn if we're not going to cast another ending. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I agree that I think LGSs tend to be over comp, over prepared for aggro and graveyard hate because those are like kind of easy, easiest sideboard cards to put in your deck. Okay, we've seen the same cards we saw last time. Alright, so I'm going to cycle this. If we find a red source, I'll play that. If not, I think i just play the Lotus Field. No Blood Moon, please. No Alpine Moon, please. Ooze. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on, chat. <laughs> I don't know what my opponent's doing. Could I briefly talk how to side as Phoenix after this match? Uh, I wrote a deck guide and cyborg guide for CFB Pro, so you can get a CFB Pro subscription and uh, read how I sideboard in a lot in, in most matchups. But it's hard to briefly talk about sideboarding because it's. It's a very long-winded conversation, to be honest. So land lets us start hardcasting Solitudes. I can also maybe just put Kahira in my hand next turn. We got plenty of time here. My opponent's deck seems odd. Oh, they're probably an Iron Crag whatever deck, right? Yeah, they've got to be playing that Iron Crag card. So I guess I want to keep their creatures off the field so they can't randomly uh, kill me with the evolution into Iron Crag. What I don't know the name. I can't remember the name of the card. Anybody know the name of the card? It's Iron Crag something. But they like el evolution. Like they, they, the Strangaru guys is kind of the giveaway. They they ev Eldritch evolution this into this Iron Crag cremator. I think it's like a four mana five four or four three or something. But you reveal a random card from your hand, and you deal damage to a target equal to that card's mana value. And you just, like, play Emrakul. So I think that's what's happening here. Hmm. And so I guess I should evoke Solitude so that uh, I don't guide to the Emrakul trigger. Yeah, Crag... Oh, Kragenwick. Okay, I was off. I was really off. Definitely a reasonable thing to be off about, though. And then... Let me cycle this, but I think it might be reasonable to Solitude just to not die to the... <laughs> that thing out of nowhere. Okay, Teferi's a great draw, though. Teferi's a great draw, though. Guess I'll just leave this back. Throw the game. <laughs> we'll see. What decks am I thinking of playing today? Well, I'll probably, I'll probably play one or two leagues of this, and then I might play some of the Just Guy Murktide deck, or I might play the Artifact Blade deck. I might just play regular Blue White Stone Blade. I might play uh, Grixis Shadow as a wild card. I might just play this deck all day today if it goes really well. Bowl to you, two months. Thank you so much. Second month is the best month, indeed. Or so Jim Davis tells me.
guess I have the extra mana to wildfire. Clock, 17 months, long time. <laughs> Had a recollection go yesterday pretty well. We, I think we were 8-2. and two. We, we did get a trophy with it. I like that deck a lot. Oh, whoops. I thought we had enough mana to Solitude with Cryptic up. I think we'll be okay. I will say that we are playing against a not super competitive deck, and they got super flooded, so... Not, don't read too much into this win, I think. Hmm, I think I'll cycle to fairy. We didn't have enough money if I tap correctly. How did I miss tap? Did I not tap the Lotus Field? No, monkey. No, monkey. I mean, it's so easy to play around Ragavan. You just go, no, monkey. No, monkey. And I don't, don't cast it. Easy. The updates I can't stay away. Uh, I haven't. I haven't really been working on it, to be honest. I will. I will continue to, but I just haven't been. Nexus, ten months. Thank you so much. I think I'll play this too. They could theoretically be a Cascade deck. And this, and also if they're blue red Merc Tide, this does stop Bobble. Okay, so they seem to care about that one more. Could you fit one more Deluge to the main deck? We could. I mean, it's the curve is kind of high if you do. I do I do kind of want to fit another one. But I, I am worried about put, putting the second subtle on the sideboard and being low on interaction. Because this deck is kind of light on interaction for a control deck. Oh, they're probably Blue Moon. Well, we're pretty cold to the moon. Bolts me. Yeah, Blue Moon's been doing really well lately. Okay, well. The draw seems to be kind of weird. I'm not going to play around Blood Moon. We can't beat it this game, probably. Imagine beating Blood Moon. Couldn't be me. Gabroth, 20 months. Thank you so much. It's a long time. And down to 13. All right, let's play this tapped and then make a 1 1 shark to block the borrower or a snapcaster. Do you prefer Blue Moon list with or without Chalice? Uh, for Blue Moon, I think without Chalice. Because I think with Blue Moon, you want to be playing Murktide. And, like, Chalice is really good when you play Ending, and you can't play Ending in Blue Moon. Give him a little bit of lag today. So they can't bolt the shark. They can steal, maybe. Is Typhoon good? Yeah, Typhoon's been pretty good lately. They have another Petty Thefts. Don't know if I want to settle against someone who's been missing so many land drops. I might have to, though. Alright, this is, feels this is bad, but I think I have to cycle main phase to try to find a land. Simon, 22 months. Thank you so much. Found the land. Yeah, Typhoon is, in fact, busted of Modern. I'm going to five. Oh, sorry, six. With the chalice on one, you know, it's it is kind of hard for us to get burned out. I 
I think we play that this turn. I think I'll cryptic the borrower, just counter draw. I might end up going Chalice on three this game. Probably not super soon, but at some point. Down to four. Yeah, Bloodstone would be pretty nice. Although it's probably not resolving. Yeah, I think I like ending this. Play Lotus Field Pass. We're going to hedge for burn. Put two Brutals on the board of Junsack. What should we take out? The third Calling Ritual and the first Void Mirror? Hmm. Good question. Probably those two, yeah. Yeah, I would say those two. Just kind of depends on if you feel like you have another read on the metagame, you know. Kid points it out to Blood Moon. We can't beat Blood Moon. <laughs> Don't worry, we can't beat it. So they're going to go for Murktide this turn, I think, if they're casting that Consider into the Chalice. Do I wait on the shark? I think I should. Yeah, making a 5-5 five, five shark is so much better. Although it is it is worse against charm. Let's cycle, let's cycle. Blitz, two months, thank you so much. Uh, Stifle is not modern legal. Wait, is it actually an historic? I can't believe it if it's an historic. It probably is, right? It's probably historic legal. Why wouldn't it be? So they have Prismari Command, but they're not killing my Chalice. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. They discard two one drops instead of killing Chalice. Okay, that seems bad. Spike, could you explain why you don't run Tarmo in the Jun Sack deck? It doesn't have synergy with your deck. Like the idea is that you play a lot of powerful cards that have synergy together. And Tarmogoyf is a powerful card, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't really synergize with the rest of the deck. Thanks again, Blitz. Did I miss anything? Apologies if I did. I uh, can't play Lotus Field. I could play another Chalice on one. I guess that's fine. They, they are playing ways to unlock their one drops. I just don't know why they didn't kill my Chalice on one earlier. What's the advantage of playing Lotus Field besides Hexproof? Look at this, you get to untap two Lotus Fields into Fairy here, and then have Solitude up, or Subtle. And you also have Blood Sun to make these enter untapped and not sack any lands, which is really good when that happens. Spooky, 22 months, thanks buddy. Gotta remember not to forget about old Kahira here. And S spoke 20 months. New months, same great spike. Thank you so much. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring So they Spike. played their land before iteration. A classic blunder. No, this game is not over. We could lose to Blood Moon pretty easy. You think? Okay, well, and their draw's a little weird, but we got Teferi going, we're casting a Kihira. Get to untap these. Yeah, the Kihira definitely seems worth playing. I think it was a mistake for me to dismiss it earlier. Although, I'm, I'm going to side it out, or it's going to stay in the sideboard, but I'm going to bring in Ragavans for games two, I think. Maybe not. They do have a lot of one-drops. Maybe I want to keep Chalice. I'm not sure. Should this deck run Thespian Stage or Fasuva? Well, we have Flagstones to synergize with Lotus Field. The colorless sources of those cards ends up being a bit awkward. Thespian Stage is way better with Lotus Field, though. I think, and, it, and also, like, you really just, like, want one Lotus Field to, like, enable your deck where you have a lot of four drops to go to Fairy, untap Lotus Field, untap Land. The second Lotus Field doesn't, like, let you ramp into anything, like, really that specific. Dude, Kahira ate a counter spell. Let's go. Della, thank you for the tier one. C 
So even if you have to play a fielder, half the man has control, another half is strong, which you play? Uh, Ponza. Why not Phoenix is my favorite deck? I don't know. Why is your favorite ice cream, <laughs> you know, shared with friends? Oh, that's a good one. Although it's probably not resolving. Just joking, bro. I got you. I am too, though. <laughs> but Boros Land Destruction still have an unlucky bad matchup against the Field of Control and Tron. Probably. Well, great. Thank you for Twitch Prime. Opponent, please. <laughs> Counter bounce. Yikes. I can't replay the Teferi here. Guess I'll cycle this. Yikes. Any Blood Suns in the chat? So I doubt this solitude resolves, but then we get to stick it to fairy. Ideally, we draw blood sun, but can't have everything. I do fine. Be your friend, aspiring spike. Punk's not dead? <laughs> Blood Sun, hell yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully soon. No stream snipe accusations, please. It's just kind of a rule we have here. Obviously, it's always might be happening, but uh, without any hard evidence. It's not good to accuse your opponents of uh, something. Consider the card Expansion Explosion. I have not. I have not. I might, though. I might. It just needs to get suggested a couple more times. With the cast hard evidence, I would simply counter it. Should we have used our mana more efficiently and played a third chalice on one? I don't think so. We have... Um, oh, that's a great draw. We have uh, three more, two more Valakid Awakenings. We have, we have Valakid Awakening to shuffle this chalice away. And I might even want a Chalice on 3 or something to play around Blood Moon. Uh, the mana value of Murktide on the stack is always 7. Unless something really weird is happening, I guess. And they have one card. Uh, I guess they can have Pact of Negation. No, they can't. We have Chalice. <laughs> We considered fireball. Hmm. How about channel fireball? They have a third Merc Tide, but it's only a one. It's only a three three. The sad Merc Tide Regent. Oh yeah, that is the Merc Tide we talked. Tiger four months. Thank you so much. They're blocking. Delio. All right, any hard casters? Any blood suns though? We, we're literally thirty cards deep. No blood sun. I mean, I shouldn't be complaining. <laughs> shouldn't be complaining at this point. All right, we won the game. It's kind of a weird game though. Um, so I do, I do think I, so. Usually against like blue white control, I'll cut Chalice for Ragavan, but Chalice does seem good against their deck. They're also playing Ragavan. They discarded one, which is a bit awkward because. I don't really want to play Prismatic Endings against them, but I might have to. I'm going to bring in these forces. Have that out to Blood Moon. I think I'll cut the Settles and cut the fourth ending. This feels really weird to do against the Ragavan deck. We also have Solitude for Ragavan. And if they just don't draw it, you know, <laughs> Copium. Oh, we also probably want Rust in Peace. Yeah. They're a Murktide deck. We want some Rust in Peace. 
But we cut eight chalice in the third ending. Seems fine. I feel like I want these wildfires. Yeah, you could maybe cut an awakening. Yeah, let's do that. On the draw. Awakenings are really good though. Wonder, two months, appreciate ya. Yeah, I like Just Guy Merktide a lot. Yeah, I miss Tails in too. I like cutting Blood Sun. I feel like it's really hard to ever cut Blood Sun. I also think we have to keep this hand. This hand can answer an early Ragavan. This hand is good if it draws just one land because we can sack Flagstone to Lotus Field. Put him most to six. We're on the draw. We have 25 lands in the deck. Or 23. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. If you're going to complain about bad luck, you better lose the game. That's true, yeah. Although, if you're going to complain about bad luck to your opponent, you better lose the game. It's fine to, I think, do it with your friends or stream. Oh, Rest in Peace is a little bit awkward with the flagstones, though. But I think we still jam it. It probably gets countered here anyways. But Rest in Peace does shut off flagstones. I thought for sure this was going to be uh, Blood Moon. <laughs> Woo! Main phase Brazen Borrower Keck W. What the hell? Did they just misclick? I also didn't bring any Wear Tears in, which is maybe a mistake. Any tips for taxes? Yeah, just you're, you're going to play the control deck against taxes. You're going to remove all the creatures. It should be a decent matchup. Yeah, if we fade Blood Moon this turn, which we did, awesome. Okay, your turn. Dude, whenever you do this, it's just it's just the sickest. Main phase borrower is like four misclicks. Yeah, a lot, a lot of things have to go wrong to main phase the borrower. It's gonna take the hit. I think I'll Solitude end of turn here. Probably gets countered, but... Oh, they're f 6 <laughs> guess their draw's bad. I don't know. Well, it's, it does seem pretty bad. <laughs> I knew you've been playing this deck for a long time, but when did you originally start it? Was it a Spike Brew? Are those playing that I do too? So this deck started from my PT testing in Historic, where... I wanted to play an Uro deck. Uh, I had been playing Tails in Modern, and I was like, under, I, I knew that Tails in was like sick in the historic format because it stopped like the Nexus deck. And eventually I was able to find, uh, like, Uro also, Tails in also like countered your Uro e, uh, ETB trigger. It was, it was really good in that deck. And then I just like was like, went through the whole historic card pool, found Lotus Field, um, and then realized the Tails in Lotus Field interaction. And then, like, I, I've, I've seen Blood Sun Lotus Field in uh, Legacy before. And I eventually put this together in, in Modern. And then Holy Diva was also doing a lot of similar versions in Historic at the time. I, I think I, I, I did take some inspirations from her Historic lists. But yeah, it was a spike brew. But there was def there was, it, was de it was definitely, like, a long road to get there in Modern, you know. Fanatic, six months. Thank you so much. Is that a good draw? Oh, my mana is short of Kihira into play this turn. Settle for a Chalice. Force here? I don't think so. Just let it go. In my opinion. Thanks again, Fnatic. Yeah, we've overcome the the Flagstone's Lotus Field Nambo here. I love this deck. This deck is such a blast. It's been really good. It's been, you know, I was worried that I, I might never end up returning to this deck, but I, I'm really happy that it got some new life breathed into it.
2-0-4-0. Although, I will say both those matches were pretty soft. So we can keep this and play the second Flagstones on turn two. I think I'll, that's fine. Would definitely Mulligan on the draw. Sign's also great if it draws an untapped red source on turn one or turn two. Yeah, sleeping through the beginning of work is peak work from home. Can we also try brought back for this list? Uh, I've thought I've tried it in like a Boros version in the past. <laughs> uh, I've tried it in a Boros version in the past. I don't know. Brought back is a really cool card. It's a card I liked a lot. I think if you're gonna play it, it with the, this package, it needs to be Boros. Just like it's hard to also play blue. Unless maybe you play down, you don't play like Cryptics, just play Teferi's with the light blue splash. But then Teferi's worse if you're not playing, you know, like blue instants and stuff. Can you explain why I cut Nexus? Yeah, I think that, um, okay, that's a good draw. I think that the Memory Deluge is a better source of kind of inevitable card advantage than the Nexus in this deck. And it's just, I think that, that I'm worried about raising the curve too much by, like, leaving both in the deck. I think that you could still play it in the sideboard if you feel like Mill's going to be popular. I'm not sure how popular I believe Mill is going to be in this metagame. Dash, Ragavan. Are they playing Sack? Kind of looks like they're playing Sack. There's my Subtle the Wreckage. I might play Bloodstone to turn off their fetches. They do play a lot of fetches. Might also be important to Wildfire so I can ramp. I think I'll do that, because remember the, the Bloodstone does turn off the Flagstones. We get a Plains Trium. Am I missing some of the Flagstones interaction? Uh, it's, you can sack, sack it to Lotus Field, which turns, you know, your it turns Lotus Field into a very good effect even without Bloodstone. You can also Wildfire your Flagstones. What brought back? We brought the deck stream. I mean, I don't currently have any plans for it, but you know, if, if we're playing this deck today, nothing's off the table. I still don't know if they're regular John or if they're playing um, Sack yet. Hmm. But I know I was drawing a land. I'd probably go Blood Sun, Prismatic Ending. Those hold up Cryptic though. I like the Memory Deluge so far, both in this deck and in uh, Reclamation. I kind of would like to find room for a second, but I'm not sure how. So they have Coco, I imagine here, but I'm just gonna—I'm still gonna Deluge. Take Solitude. Another Cryptic, I guess. Yeah, I, th I still think they are on Coco here. I'm just going to keep my mana up. Got a nice full grip here. I'm going to counter draw this. I don't think that I care that much about... Enough about Renin 6 to like bounce Renin 6 here or anything like that. Shadow, do you usually play a Darcy or Ragavan first? It, it it's it, it's very nuanced. It, which 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 like creature you play first? There's a lot of ins and outs to that question. Two Spiros, wow. It, like it's all very contextual. Like, do you know the matchup? Are you on the play? Are you on the draw? How many lands do you have? How many threats do you have? How many discard spells do you have? I should probably make a flow chart for it. We pro I think we've got some commands for the stack, the for why we play the cards we play. I'm taking this hit off Ragavan. Oh, that was a salt. That was a bombardment. <laughs> oh no. So I can ending that, I guess. But we really need a Lotus Field. Oh. Lotus Field. Hmm. Maybe I'll go to Fairy Cryptic Tap here. Cryptic tap bounce Ren. Kind of like that. 
Yeah, so I guess instead of answering your question, I'll just show you, huh? Oh, we could also settle. I think I'd rather settle after I, uh, ending the bombardment next turn. Let's freaking go. It was a very timely Lotus Field. Oh, I, I'm back to casting Cryptic Commands faster than anybody in the world. <laughs> we might be dead still, of course, if they just have Mayhem Devil, we're dead. Okay, it's like, oof. Not Mayhem Devil. This does kill Teferi, though. Which is not that big a deal, I think. We got a lot going on. What is this deck? Why is it mean? It's an old brew of mine. I used to play this lot, a lot of the channel. Um, and I think that uh, there's been some you know new life breathed into it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we can go Typhoon. Oh, we're one mana short of going Hardcast Typhoon, Prismatic Ending Bombardment, and Settle the Wreckage, which is I, fine, I guess. Supreme Judgment. I play Subtle because you can go to Fairy, untap Lotus Field Land, Subtle the Wreckage your opponent. Would a Mystic Gate be good in this list? There's six non blue sources for Cryptic and Deluge. It's overly rely on Lotus Field to cast these cards. Um, I think you're 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 counting Flagstones wrong because if you have two Flagstones, you get a blue source. I think, and Wildfire is also a blue source. Um, yeah, it's like the, this. I think you kind of have to count this as one non blue source total because if you have two, you get a blue source, and so that's one. Two, three non blue lands. Oh, I guess the Valakid Awakenings, but should you count these as lands or half lands? You know, at least that's how I think about it. What a game! <laughs> Been a crazy league so far. They also can't sack their Mire, they can't sack their Peatland because of the Blood Sun. Do you think this list is playable without Chalice? I think... No, to be honest. I, I've played it without Chalice in the past, but this is like... This is like... Chalice is better in this deck than it is in Blue-White because you have all these Valakid Awakenings to get away extra copies so you actually get to play four. Like, this is a... Re it's really important to play Chalice in this deck, I think. So I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana. <laughs> a one short of Flashback Deluge plus Typhoon. But can I, I can Flashback Deluge into Teferi if I find a Teferi, and I'm like pretty likely to. So let's go Flashback Deluge. Missed on Teferi. But let's get Lotus Field Solitude or Lotus Field Cryptic? Hmm... I feel like I want, I guess I could just get Cryptic, Solitude, play land, Solitude, Ragavan, attack, Grist. Start getting a bunch of life. Man, I love this deck, dude. I love this deck. Still have five cards in their hand though. Gen Sack's pretty good too. Can't you just double shark? I think this was better. This this was like definitely better in my opinion if I was able to find a Teferi. That's like that's that was the main goal there. You really need to get a Teferi going at some point. Thank you, Magic Online promo packs. They unearth Gris. Oh, this is a quite the turn. It is good that their fetch lands are turned off still. 
They kill my other solitude with the with the grist. Where the packs, uh, you get them at the first of every month if you play enough Magic Online. I don't really know the exact rules. Is New Teferi good for this deck? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't think so. In the cards, like if your four mana Planeswalker like needs something in play to be good, it's probably not playable. And maybe I'm misevaluating it, but you kind of you in, in Magic and Modern especially, you kind of just need your four mana Planeswalkers to hold their own weight. Thank you for the three months. Did I double Typhoon with Cryptic up? No, of course not. I'm going to hold this to discard the Awakening. Uh, I don't have an Emrakul, no. Indeed, it, well, I don't think you'd want one. You don't get that much mana. I used to have a Nexus of Fate, though. Be pretty good in this game. Wild game. How many Solitudes do I have left? I think I have two left. Yeah. No Subtles left, because they Ragavan one of them. I kind of draw. I think I've got a bunch of uh, Awakenings left, too. I think I actually have... I have four Valakid Awakenings left. That's really good news. Okay, they're sandbagging a Coco. Okay, they can't suck their fetches, which is great news for us here. Big draw step. Big draw. I'm just gonna make a 2 2. I know I could hard. I know I could just hard cast, but I need I need to draw cards here to keep the sharks flowing. Specifically, drawing a card like this is exactly what we needed. I could have been, I maybe I could have hard cast a typhoon before this though. Probably not necessary. Let's attack grist. Oh, I guess I should just solitude the. Oh, Mayhem Devil, huh? Or maybe I should uh, Typhoon make like a 4-4 four four here. See if I draw something better. Didn't draw something better. Yeah, this has been an amazing game for sure. I, it's so great that this deck feels playable again. I, oh man, I'm having a great time. They milled over a blood ghast. I'm somehow over 10 life. All right, they pack it in. No, just done doesn't kill sharks. It only kills constructs because constructs have an ability that says they get plus X plus X. Yeah, we've had, we've had some, yeah, we've definitely had some great matches the last few days, for sure. Play one chalice, three rest in peace. Could play a wear tear for bombardment. Bombardment's really good against us. They'll play one for wildfire three. Morning, Kodal. How's uh, how's Nico doing? Is anybody checking in? Last time I left, he was on game five. My friend of the channel, Dino Singile, I think is how you pronounce or Dino Singile, is doing the God Run 2, which is beating Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, Bloodborne, Demon Souls, Sekiro, in a row without being hit. Right now, he's on game five. He's on 1, 2, 3, Bloodborne, is on Demon Souls. But Sekiro's his hardest game. So. Definitely give him a follow. Cheer him on. Yeah, the, yeah, the problem is Sekiro is definitely his weakest game. But I believe. Yeah, 
Nico's a great watch. Do you take that dumb death? Do you take back the dumb death? Of course not. Even if he died, if yeah, last time he was uh, on his on his personal best, he got he died to a glitch, but you can't take those back. It's still a death. You, yeah, you, there's no way you can take those back. Unfortunately, it really st it really stinks. But like it, it like always happens on Demon Souls. Demon Souls is like very glitchy. This end's kind of bad, but I think it's fine to keep in this matchup. Sekiro is the hardest. Why do it last? Uh, he's, he mostly, like... So, he recently has been grinding Sekiro a lot in order to... In order to finally... Like, he he only no-hit it for the first time a couple weeks ago, right? Alright, Charleston went a little slow this game. Yeah, he only he only no-hit it for the first time within the last couple of weeks. And he's, he's, he's since then no-hit it, like, three or four times. But he, like, I think just now took a break from playing Sekiro first... And kind of is, you know, has now done, like, you know, four games in a row. Uh, the Ragavan are in the sideboard for when you board out Chalice. They're, they're basically good in every matchup that you want to board out Chalice on. Yeah, nice Chalice. <laughs> uh, he plays the Demon Souls on PS5. That's kind of where people are more interested in watching, you know. I need to play Bloodstone here to set up for a big next turn. Hopefully they don't have Force of Vigor. They probably have Coco. They might have a weak Coco though. Okay, just an Endurance. Now their fetches are turned off. Could you have Kihira? Since you have Kihira with the counter spells be better than Ragavan? I don't think so. It's like against Control and Tron, Rag Ragavan is so much important, more important, especially in our deck. Oh no, Awakening is a good hit for them because they've been Ren and Sixing. Um, but yeah, especially in our deck, like we really can't support counter spell that well because we've got all these Flagstones, we have all these Valakin Awakenings. Our deck's not a very good counter spell deck. I think that counter spell or Dovin's Veto is a fine. Like budget replacement for Ragavan, but Ragavan is the best option. I, I did spend a long, a long time considering changing it though this morning. All right, I do like drawing a second Lotus Field. It does stink that I've got this Chalice in play and I can't Prismatic Ending on one the Ragavan this turn, but I can Solitude. So I guess I'll try to Solitude the Endurance and block Ragavan. Hopefully they don't have Endurance. Or, sorry, Coco. They don't. If we get to untap with Teferi, things are great, of course. Why couldn't I have Chalice on one? So if I I need to I need to spend two mana to Prismatic ending the, the Ragavan, and I can't also do that and play the Teferi. What's a good two CMC counterspell that's not as mana intensive as counterspell, mana leak viable? Uh, Dovin's Veto would be the recommendation. I, I wouldn't recommend mana leak. Because, like, the matchups that you would want to board those in against uh, would be, like... I guess you could, play, you could play Tails in in the sideboard, actually. Tails in's probably fine. It also has synergy with your Lotus Fields. And Tails in's very good against Tron and Control, which are the main matchups you want the Ragavans for. Yeah, I guess Tails End. Tails End is my recommendation. Oh, Tails End also stops Cascade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. It was right in front of our noses all along. Okay, Bombardments. They could sack their board to kill my Teferi, but they don't. Huh. I thought I was going to definitely Awakening this turn. But I might just go... Rest in peace. Prismatic ending bombardment. Hold up solitude. I guess I can also ending away at least the steam vents. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
A very good turn. We can also uh, put Kahir into our hand and then Valakid Awakening it away. It's kind of funny. Next turn. I'm going to settle, I think. Maybe not. Maybe Solitude is not too bad. You can exile Spyro, block a token. Alright. Consider it settled. They do have a lot of basics in the deck. Should be fine. We got hit by Ragavan like three times this game, by the way. <laughs> All right, combo time. Kahira in the hand. Valkyrie Awakening away Kahira. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put back the ending. I know I can ending the Ren and Six, but I don't really care about the Ren and Six with the rest in peace in play. All right, always be hard casting. We do have a Kahira in the deck that we could draw, though. This deck is so sick. This deck is so sick, dude. How are we about to be 3-0 again with this deck? We were 3-0 Monday, and I think we went 3-2, but... Okay, this is a start. Fulminator Mage Grist. Okay, they can Fulminator Mage a, a Lotus Field here. They should wait and do the one I untap, though. Okay, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna solitude the hierarch in response. Maybe I should. Eh. Yeah, fracturing gust would be pretty good. Cycles on Earth. No, I haven't considered Enduring Ideal, but now I will. Another Coco, okay. Maybe they hit two Fulminator Mages. They're still probably losing. They hit one. Jeez. Discard two spells? What are the two spells? Endurance Bombardment. Okay, I would have definitely played out the Bombardment first. Dude, losing this game would be wild. Losing this game would be absurd, but it is possible. They have a third Fulminator Mage. No way! Let's go! Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Junsack is cracked. They get a Rimblom, which doesn't do much with the rest in peace in play. <laughs> Sheesh. Remember we had three Lotus Fields in play? This has been like the best match we played all week. We played some great matches this week. But it, this is the best one. Right, so we get to attack Gris, and they could have Endurance, but we can Solitude Endurance. Alright, let's cast uh, Rest in Peace for a 2-2 Shark. Don't. <laughs> so did you play the Bloodstone before you knew they ran Fulminator? I mean, I know they ran Fulminator because I built their deck, but I played Bloodstone before I played Lotus Field, which you always want to do. Okay, so they're going to sack my, kill my Typhoon. Oh, yeah, killer on chalice. This is something. Yeah, I just as long as this doesn't flip, I don't need to deal with this super quickly. Co, thank you for Twitch Prime. Appreciate ya. 
Why are they not attacking more? We have a hardcast typhoon in play, would be my guess. We do need to kill this if it flips, though. So maybe we could draw a white source and do and do that. Okay, a little bit of attention here. I think I guess I'd rather go to fairy, make a five five shark, plus solitude this before it attacks. Or I can also I can also yeah. Let me actually just go tear my own just tear something tear a rest in peace having it countered by chalice but then that's two spells to flip this and so it doesn't get to trigger on the attacks assuming i know how day and night works i actually wrote a little bit of a poem about uh the day and night mechanic on twitter yesterday Whenever night becomes day or day becomes night and a wolf or werewolf enters the battlefield when it's night and night becomes day, a human werewolf transforms. And when day becomes night or day becomes day, transform both your human and werewolf werewolves unless it's day or night. So I think that should clear everything up. <laughs> Did I write it myself? Yeah. I was kind of, I was shitposting in Doom's chat and... Just kind of posted something I wrote there. Okay, they're still dead on board to, with, with this. No, they go to one. Okay, I think I'll just let that happen. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm familiar with Day and Night. It's a good song. I guess I'll cycle a Blood Sun. Thank you, I heard. Have me and Dunk hung out at person and events? No, Doom and I's friendship has been formed in this period of no events. All right, we are 3-0, and we're also 6-0. We haven't lost a single game today. <laughs> I don't know. Again, this deck isn't broken, but it feels playable again, man. It's been pretty good. Why not salty on the stack? I mean, it didn't kill them because... that. Was, I mean, it, it was lethal if they had literally nothing, but if they have literally nothing, we're winning the game anyways, right? Yeah, this deck is definitely tier zero at having fun, for sure. Which is very important. Do 61, hell yeah. Alright, they build the six. I do think you can play Tails End over Ragavan in the sideboard if you just don't want to buy Ragavans. Because the idea is you want these when you cut your chalices. I think Ragavan's better, but Tails End's not too bad. Yeah, GG Pump. That match was crazy. That was like that was definitely the best match we played all week. We've had some good matches this week. Add Yorion. Put almost to five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We lose Kihira though. Yeah, double companion. <laughs> yeah, we could reveal Yorion in the games <laughs> where we sided in Ragavan. Do a deck guide for this deck up a CFB? Uh not yet, no. My deck guides for this week were the blue white stone blade deck I've been playing, and then I did a budget deck guide for a mono black Luris deck with the idea uh, that here I'll pull it up real quick. This one's coming out. This article coming out soon. But the idea is like this list is gonna be like a playable Luris mid range deck where most of your like like it's around two hundred bucks in paper, and most of that money is going to like the thought seasons and the baubles. And, the, and like, which is good, right? If you're going to spend 200 bucks on a budget deck, like picking up staples is nice. And then you've got, uh, I think, like a somewhat playable at FNM, mono black Luris mid-range deck that you can eventually port into red black. All right, playing against some Tron variants. What's my opinion on Dakin? I think that in Stoneblade, I'd rather be playing Teferi over Dakin at the moment. Teferi is really well positioned, so that... That makes me not that interested in Dakin. I do usually like the Tron matchup. Looks like they're... I feel like White Borderlands, Mold of Five, no one mana spells is probably Eldrazi Tron. Uh, but obviously hard to say for sure. Okay, Wildfire Chalice ending, but the first person to play Karuga in Modern? Whoa! <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I think this deck turned out pretty well. No, Thieves Guild Enforcer is like a, like a solid one mana creature in this deck. And actually plays... 
it's kind of weird with Voidwalker. Where Voidwalker's a rogue, but Voidwalker, you know, doesn't let doesn't grow your opponent's graveyard, but it mills cards for Voidwalker. Kind of some in interesting tension there. Uh, Cooper the Red, thanks for the raid. Thanks so much. Appreciate you, buddy. I challenge you to be the first person to run a playable Luchi Companion deck in Modern. Uh, challenge declined, buddy. <laughs> uh, Squad Chief actually is probably... No, Squad Chief was the first person to do that, though. Chief, I think, 5-0'd with Luchi in Modern with, like, Grixis control with Luchi back under the old Companion role. Please don't battery shaper me. Yeah, that challenge has failed because Chief already did it. But also imagine if it was just that easy. Spike, I challenge you to brew around my pet card. I bet you can't make, um, hold on. Geist of St. Traft, good at modern again, no matter how hard you try. <laughs> you have a deck list of this vampire deck? Uh, this is not a, a vampire deck. Uh, this is, uh, but there, there's a vampire in it, uh, but it, it'll be up on channel fireball soon. Uh, it, it will not. It won't be behind a paywall either. Uh, the budget articles don't go behind paywalls, so it'll be up uh, today or maybe early next week. And I'll you know retweet it when it happens. All right, Teferi, sadly taken. We're doing pretty good here though. Oh, I love Juniper Order Ranger. I used to play that in uh, Gave EDH. I never knew, I always pronounced, I wasn't sure if you're supposed to pronounce it Gave or Gave. Kind of always went back and forth. If Flax doesn't the field, Blood the field is a trigger, it does not know. There is some, there's some tension there, but it's usually not that big a deal. Usually when you, usually you'll just hold the second Flagstones to uh, try to um, Valakid Awakening away. Guava. <laughs> Oh yeah, Chalice for three to stop Reshaper. Big brain. Is this uh, Chalice on two? It only stops my Wildfires. But Wildfires are good at this matchup. I guess it stops some cards in their deck too. Any hardcasters? I think we're going to be a hardcaster here. Outland Liberator? Is that the, uh, is that the werewolf? That, uh, blows stuff up when it attacks? Because it's a good, it's a good suggestion. I'm just not sure that it's better than Force of Vigor. You can maybe play one over, like, the third Force of Vigor. But you don't have like any creature tutors, but it is a hit off of Coco. Good suggestion for sure. If it's that card. If it's not that card, then it's a bad suggestion. <laughs> I'm doing well, Skrilly. How you doing? I'm always having a good day when I'm playing this deck. Could have played a 0 0 Chalice to get a 0 0 Shark. Stalking yellow and here's the battlefield. If it's on the battlefield, deals damage equal to its power to target creature opponent controls. Return stalking yeti to its hand. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go Blood Sun first. Make a 3 3. The Bimp, thank you for the 14 months. Long time. In dog months, this is a two-year anniversary. Very true. I'll have to have Athena double-check your math, but I think that that's accurate. I mean, I know I can go Steam Vents, make another 2-2 two -two Shark, which is actually pretty relevant. This is why double block here. They'll put a counter on Ballista, kill a Shark, and then their Seer lives. But that's, like, actually a totally fine exchange, and I'd, I'd rather Valakid Awakening these away, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The template, yeah, the template, I've never seen that card. It is really weird. It is cool. I like it. Yeah, but the temp the templating is really weird that you ne it needs to still be on the battlefield to deal the damage. I've never seen that. 
Oh, it was fight. Yeah, I didn't realize that the words were fight for that. Yeah, it's before the templating of fight. Alright, Karn for what, though? They they can, um... They, yeah, they, they're gonna get coding. Or, sorry, Ratchet Bomb. Well, Ratchet Bomb kills their... Ballista. So they ping. Oh, yeah, okay, Ratchet Bomb's very good. Kills my Chalice, too. Not that that's that relevant. Attack me down to seven. They have seven mana here. Cool. Okay, Solitude's not that bad. I'm gonna... Should I just Solitude this? I think I want to high roll a bit. Get to see four cards. Let's make a 3-3 three, three shark too. Oh no, is this bad because they can get bridge now? But are they going to get bridge? We've got more answers to bridge. Yeah, I don't know if that they're going to get it, but maybe this was bad because of that. How is Blood Sun any different for Blood Moon in this regard? Well, if we had Blood Moon in play, uh, I would be. Or we couldn't cast any spells. <laughs> you could have called the card with that next turn. That's true, but I feel like the 3 3 shark here is like pretty nice. Could be wrong. I could put Kihira in my hand. Four, six. So yeah, they can't Sundering Titan me. They get Sky Sovereign. Okay, Sky Sovereign feels pretty beatable here. So I need to Solitude their Thought Not Seer so that they can't crew. Or I, I guess I could just Solitude the Sky Sovereign after they crew. It's probably a bit better. Yeah, I could just do that. Okay, they're attacking. Can we afford to take the three here? I think so. We lose to Ballista off the top. We can even we can solitude our own thing. Yeah, I didn't really think they would make this attack, but they did. Morning. Do you have another of these cups here? Uh, no. There's there's a there's a coffee queued up for you though, and. Oh, I already threw it out. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, there was one. Okay. Hi, Dina. So many good games today. Do I want to hold this Awakening or play it as a land? I'm not sure. Let me ending this caller. No, no, if I ending the caller, I lose to Ballista, right? Do I lose to Ballista anyways? Because they go Ballista X equals three, crew Sky Sovereign, and then I have to solitude my own creature to survive, but then I just die to the Sky Sovereign. Okay, yeah, I guess I, I'm dead to Ballista anyways, so. Not dead to the Smasher. Oh, I am dead to Smasher because they just crew the Sky Sovereign. Oh no, I, yeah, I just put myself dead to any crew. No, this was dumb. Yeah, this is dumb. Okay, now we're dead to any creature. Big bummer. Dead to Karn. <laughs> Better lucky than good, huh? We'll blame Esther for the distraction, huh? Life successfully gained. I think I'll just pass here. Yeah, not enough. Yeah, then there it's not even uncounterable. I think I'll just go counter draw. Wanna get another shark? Okay, that uh worked out really well. Let me cut these chalices for the ragavans. 
I want the Force of Negations too, I think. I need I want the fourth wildfire. I might want some of these. Ending is good on, on like exactly turn one. But I'm not that worried about Chalice. Yeah, I guess I'll just cut the endings against them. And then I might cut the settles for wear tears. We got solitudes to deal with their creatures. Did not stop the cavern correctly. No, Blood Sun, if Blood Sun's in play, it stops Cavern from uh, getting its abilities. But it, it, but if, if Cavern's in play before Blood Sun, it gets the abilities. It's really weird. Don't ask me why it works that way. Because I don't want to explain it. They do play Saga. Maybe I should play three Wear Tears. Oh, we have Blood Sun and Wildfire for Saga too. So I can deal clean with Worm and Ulamog. Uh, there, this is Eldrazi Tron, not Green Tron, but also Solitude can deal with those cards. I do think one settles might be good. Let's play one settle, one wear tear. <laughs> no, I know, I know which card Lotus Field could let me cast. Yeah, Expansion Explosion. You know, layers is the answers to a lot of uh, weird things in life. How do mothers get the strength to lift a van off of their child? Layers. <laughs> Why did your parents divorce? Layers. <laughs> why uh, doesn't Arena still have... Why does Arena still not have spectator mode? And why in Arena can you draft a deck and if it's bad, concede the draft and not have your rank go down? Also layers. Why on Arena? <laughs> I shouldn't just be picking all fun at at at, uh, at Arena. <laughs> but why on Arena when the matchmaking fails and it gives you a draw automatically? Do does your rank go down? That's also layers. Now why do you cut onions? Layers. Oh, it's easier. <laughs> no, why hasn't dad why did dad go for cigarettes and never come back? <laughs> Layers. Now you know. Uh I guess I'll solitude this year. My compute is one temperature, workplace another temperature. How should I dress to accommodate the situation? Well you should probably you probably should wear some layers, I think. <laughs> probably should wear some layers. Yeah, the canals, the, the fast lands also play pretty well with Lotus Field and Blood Sun, where Lotus Field sacks your lands and to, <laughs> to let you play Canal untapped, and then Blood Sun just makes them enter untapped naturally, which is always pretty nice in this deck. Dude, Solitude is just so perfect for this deck. What makes a Smith Island cake? I don't actually know, but I assume the answer is layers, right? Because what else would it be? <laughs> That's the answer to everything. So I'm at so Teferi's getting took here, right? Good old Basco's car. I feel like this should have definitely been cited out. What is those field? I saw Bata made some commands earlier. I don't know if Bata's still in chat. Bata, what were the commands for like the Lotus Field stuff? Assuming you're, you're here still. I think I, I see that bat is in the chat, but that's not always like, you know, actively here. Or the three color lands from the apocalypse block. I don't know how this question could probably be answered as layers. I'm trying to think, I don't know. <laughs> layers, ah! <laughs> that was good, that was really good. What do Hydra's in? I know that one is layers for sure. I know that one is layers for sure. Can you explain Inception? Uh, I don't know that I can actually. I saw that movie when I was like in 10th grade or something. But I was watching the community episode where they joke about Inception recently and I was thinking about rewatching it. Whatever, I'll just hardcast the Typhoon. Inception is layers, right, 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 right. 
<laughs> of course. Oh yeah, they forgot there's a Rick and Morty episode about Inception. They should probably name Teferi Hero, I'm not sure. Yeah, Ponyta's hand's weird. I mean, just like, they left in Basculus Collar, dude. <laughs> yeah, they do name Teferi. Uh, I guess I did slide out most of my answers to Needle, though. Huh. I pitched... This is actually a big problem, <laughs> now that I think about it a bit more. But how do you solve any problem in Magic the Gathering? You just start cast a Typhoon. <laughs> just start cast the Typhoon. Last card is Eldrazi Temple. Did you have an attack here? Any form of Reckless post Wreckers do that could be decent? Uh, you could probably make it work, but... I'm not sure. I'd have to, like, really think about it. And I've never really been known for... For thinking about it, huh? I'm gonna hold the Seacrim Coast to uh, shuffle away with Valakid Awakening. So I guess here I'm gonna go bounce Rogren Triumph, draw a card. Probably should tap the Rogren Triumph though. Okay, so that is needled, but it does does still come with a five five shark, so it's not too bad. Yeah, let's just get that 5-5 five, five shark. <laughs> yeah, why do they print 5? Yeah, that's a small downside that this comes with a 5-mana 5-5 flyer, too. Pretty uh, pretty weak card. You don't... Dude, we're 4 now. <laughs> we haven't lost a single game this league, either. I don't know, man. I, I keep trying to manage expectations with this deck, but we also keep crushing with it. Let's get a prediction going. Yeah, I think you I think you want like a black white filter land. Maybe not over the den. I'm not sure exactly what you'd cut. Uh I guess we keep this. Okay, I I don't say this often, like your main deck is good. Your like I wouldn't I, I don't think I'd change a card in the main deck. I think this is really good. I do think that the dams are probably hard to cast. Um, and I, I would like to see more fixing for them. Let's see, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten indestructible lands. Seems good, fine. Boy, you think of a Twitch Prime? Four dams is maybe too many, but I don't know. I, I'm kind of into it. Cyborg. Um, I don't like this Leyline of the Void Rest in Peace split. I probably would just play three Rest in Peace. That should be plenty. I don't think I like this Defense Grid either. I might play like Guttural Response instead in that spot. Or more, another Boil. Let's go! What the hell? They mold a three. Wait, hold on. Blood Crypt mold a three, concede to Chalice. No companion, though. Okay, that is a bit weird. So, yeah, sorry, doubters. Yeah, I think I'd also like to see the third Brutality for, like, your burn matchups tough. Yeah, I would also... i just play the third Boil, I guess, over the defense grid if the blue matchups are tough. You have one more sideboard slot if you play the three rest in... Third rest in peace... So the third brutality for that, yeah, that's. I think that's my recommendation. That list looks sick though. I, I liked it. Um, what are we doing here though? We just straight up not not siding. Yeah, no Luris is really throwing me off, right? Blood Crypt, no Luris. Gorios, yeah, it could be. I feel like it's probably a graveyard deck if they're mulling that low. Let me bring in these rest in peace. Bring in the rest in peace, cut. Wildfire number three. 
Typhoon 4. Yeah, it could be goblins, but, you know. Subtle 2. Yeah, Black Red Tron. Yeah, it's really slow. They have all the 6. I think we'll join them. That'll do, deck. That'll do. I hope it'll do. Yeah, they could just... Yeah, I feel like <coughs> Dredge makes sense. Sorry. Let's go! Yes! <laughs> well, my gosh, this has been, I'll say, an easy breezy league. <laughs> Dude, they, they went mold the three or mold the four, blood crypt pass, concede to a chalice on one, and we brought in the rest in pieces. Dusk, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Yeah, sometimes it is just a bit too free for the bean. I mean, sometimes rest in pieces is too slow on the draw here, but looks like it'll be fast enough. They have an answer? We do have a second rest in peace. Cathartic Pyre, discard two cards and draw that many cards. Discard two imps. Wait, they're dredging? I guess they're just trying to hit an Archimeda or Creeping Chill. They missed. Yeah, Cathartic Pyre is not very good against us. Yeah, I don't like this card that much. A lot of time when facing Charbelcher with Junsack. Uh, that matchup is bad, yeah. That matchup is bad. I actually played against them. Let's go. Uh, recently in the YouTube video that went on Channel Fireball Dusk, so you can watch that match. But you're just your goal is to like Fulminator Mage them or play some sideboard cards for the matchup. 5 0 10 0 with, with <laughs> Just Guy Lotus Field. Oh, and we opened two of these islands. That's awesome. Now I have six. And a, a Scalding Turn. 5 0 10 0. Probably going to have to tweet about this.